dead, self-inflicted. Now they have to stay on the field and play. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown, Jaguars! Visca Chanel with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it. Get the football to start the game. It's... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen. He's got a man complete. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. It's a big play for the Jaguars. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result. Right there, Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown. LaVisca Chenault with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite, and on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big connection on that one. 48 yards through one quarter, 14-7 our score. First down, Madden dancing to his left. Boy, shifts past him. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Looking to throw, Madden. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Back to throw. Madden. Touchdown! James Robinson, his 21st touchdown of the season. an excellent punt this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five now a play fake here on first down looking downfield for Jones a fight for it and this is caught what a catch and he will finally be taken down up at the 48 it's a big play for the Jaguars the big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten off the play fake, Madden sliding out of the pocket. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Looking to throw, Madden eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 back to throw Madden being chased out left and inside the 20 before he's brought down and we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action On 
on first and 10. Madden out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be... And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Carter Landry with touchdown number 20 on the year. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Throwing on first down. Madden. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On first down, Madden flushed out right. Looking downfield for Jones. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Here's the third call. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Operating from the gun. Madden forced out to his left. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. It's their quarterback as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguar... So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. On first and ten, Madden. Right there, Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Throwing on first down. Madden steps away to his left, and his throw is going to be incomplete. This offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season, sitting now at 13-0 with a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some in the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, it was something like four of the last six wins were one possession games, and they played like a team that was trying to protect something instead of chasing something. And that's what happens when you have an undefeated record. So it behooves you as a team. Get a couple blowouts in there so you get a chance to relax and breathe. But that's much easier said than done. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And this is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open, and when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. 